Well, the really obvious symptoms are, first of all, the body temperature is very high. So it could be 40, 41 degrees Celsius. So take the temperatures. Um, these animals look, they're lethargic, they're dull on themselves. Their milk yields will have fallen. Um, they get muscle weak, so they won't, they won't want to, to, to move around too much. They may, be, they may go down and not want to get up. They pant. They're obviously panting, because that's the way they're trying to lose heat. Cattle don't sweat, unlike horses, so they don't have the same ability to lose heat. So the way they try and lose heat is by panting. So you'll notice them really glowing hard, and maybe salivating hard as well. So coupled with the body temperature being high, the prevailing environmental conditions, that's likely that you've got an animal that's suffering the severe effects of heat stress and really needs veterinary attention. Yeah, I mean, it's unusual in Ireland to be having this conversation because I've never had this conversation in many, many years of, of, of veterinary practice. But because we have this heat wave, the key issues to prevent heat stress are simple, straightforward, based on physiology. They, these animals, they need, they need shade. So we have to start providing, if there is no shade for animals to, to take, farmers need to look at options for providing shade. Um, the other thing is absolutely essential is lots of water. They need access to water, cool water at all times. If it becomes really problematical in the countries that experience this kind of heat normally, like Saudi Arabia, cows are sprayed. They're sprayed with water uh, sprinklers at key times. and. Um, there's just canopies and, and, and shade is provided on a regular basis. But if, if you get a severely sick animal with heat stress, you need to call your vet because those animals will need particular fluid therapies. They can suffer fluid in the lungs, what's called pulmonary edema, and they need quite specific veterinary treatments. So the very sick cow with a very high temperature showing signs of heat stress as we've described, you need to really get the vet out and have a look and, and, and get the vet to have a look at, at her and treat her appropriately. Well, I think one of the, the risk factors for it making heat stress worse is movement. And uh, if you've got a very uh, severely affected animal, it's advised not to move them too, too much at all. So really, yeah, the less, the less uh, exertion, the better, because that's just going to make things worse.